And there's an Alexandria alum. <laughs> Jo Jonathan Miller from the Sax Wildcats is coming up. He, he knows about the Valley Dogs. He's enjoying them. one. He knows about them. No, Jonathan. Coach no. Miller will be next here on After the Game. Our Noble Bank and Trust postgame presser continues. As promised, head coach of the Sax High School Wildcats, Coach Jonathan Miller is with us. They had homecoming tonight as well, I believe, Coach. Childersburg in town, region game. You win it 42 to 14. First, welcome in. Thank Congratulations you. on the big win. You're kind of like Coach Ginn in Alexandria, a homecoming at home, got a big win, and got a big region win. We did. It was, it was an important week for us. You know, we, we needed to get this win behind us and kind of start fighting for playoff position. You know, I think this, you know, doesn't ensure we're in the playoffs, but it sure helps us a whole lot. So, you know, it's always good to get homecoming over as well. So, uh, we got that week behind us, um, got a big win, and uh, kids played hard tonight. So, that's, you know, it's about all we can ask for. Yeah, and just to be able to come off of a loss, a tough one like last week, get the kids refocused doing homecoming. I mean, that's a, that's a, a great job out of your coaching staff. Absolutely. To be able to get those guys coming off a loss and then coming back with homecoming, which I didn't like it either, okay? I, I go ahead and I didn't like homecoming, but that, that's distraction city. But, you know, props off to your whole coaching staff for being able to get those kids, and your kids, for being able to do what they needed to do tonight. Well, you know, in last week's game, it was it was a tough tough loss for us. It was a lot closer than the score indicated, but, you know, our kids fought their guts out last week. And Dave was probably the, I mean, they're not probably, they're the most talented team in our region by far, if you're just judging off of talent. Um, you know, they're loaded with, they got 16 seniors, they got depth, uh, they got it all. So 13-10 um, game with about six or seven minutes to go, we fumble, they return it for a touchdown, and that kind of, you know, um, paved the way for them to, to get a big region victory. So um, we fought hard last week, and, uh, proud of our kids and proud of them tonight for uh, their focus during the game and coming out and executing. Yeah, and the execution was was really, I think, at, at a premium, especially, like you said, coming off of the loss. We'll get to some highlights from Jack Stewart Field. It is homecoming for your bunch. And let's go out to the Sacks area as we arrive about six minutes to go before the half. Sacks up 7 nothing in this one. And they have the football. They hand it off to Dorian Walker. I'm sure Coach will talk about him in a moment. You'll see a lot of him in these highlights. They are going in for the first down. Next play, right back to Walker. And give him six. Touchdown on the board. And Sacks takes an early 14-0 lead. Moments later, Wildcats with the football once again. They give it right back to big number one. He can... Coach, you probably will probably mention this a little bit later on, but he can not only run up to the outside, but he can also get you some tough yards on the inside, picks up a first down there. You want to end this drive with a touchdown, and you do so. Keandre Johnson carries the ball into the end zone for the touchdown. As we left, a three-touchdown lead for you and your squad. And, and as you mentioned, being able to not only get off of the, you know, the, the homecoming, but also be able to, to respond there in the first half, I thought was really interesting. 42-14, uh, your final score. What was your team's mindset this week in practice after last week and then being able to execute so well there in the first half? Well, I think it was just a business-like approach. You know, we've, uh, we've struggled at times this year, uh, you know, making plays. Mm -hmm. You know, we've had situations in games that we've lost where we've had opportunities in front of us and we didn't make plays. So, uh, you know, we've been working on that, uh, working on getting better offensively, defensively, special teams, and, it's just business-like approach this week. I, I like where our team's headed. You know, it's a, it's a team of uh, kids that are, you know, taking a step up from what they did last year. They're, you know, just about all our skills gone from right. last year. Right. So we've got guys like Dorian, Keandre, Gavin Dawes. Guys are having to step up and perform, uh, you know, big-time offensive roles for us uh, that they didn't really get a lot of opportunities last year to do. Coach, I was watching the, the highlights there. And the thing that caught my eye the most was a lot of people uh, on the interior offensive line doing a good job of blocking and those people on the outside. As I talked to Coach Ginn earlier, I watched those receivers and people blocking downfield. Which, you know, that's what you got to have to be able to have those big plays that you're talking about. You do, and we, we've been on our kids this week about that, especially uh, on the perimeter blocking. And we, we got some holding calls early, but uh, a lot of it was effort, you know, out of our guys trying to get out there and, and block for their fellow skilled players. So. Uh, that was a point of uh, emphasis this week, and uh, it cost us a little bit, uh, you know, early with some holding calls. But they were out there getting after it and trying to, you know, uh, help those guys turn five-yard gains into, you know, 10, 15 touchdowns. Yeah. You know, so. 
Coach Miller, with reclassification coming. How tough has it been? You're playing teams that you knew about. You're playing coaches that you know about. You're playing athletes that you know about. Then you got thrown into a region with Beulah and Childersburg and Dadeville, and you played two of those. Actually, you played all three of those teams here in the early going. How hard has it been extra to kind of prepare and find out a little bit about these three teams? Well, you know, we were completely blind with, with Dadeville and Beulah and some of those guys because we didn't – we actually played Childersburg in a spring game the previous year, so we had a little bit of, of knowledge of, on them. But, you know, Dadeville, uh, we didn't really know a whole lot about uh, coming into the season. Uh, we just knew they were playoff team last year, you know, and, uh, you know, they were a whole lot better than we wanted them to be. <laughs> to be. So um, they're, they're extremely talented. Um, you know, Randolph County, um, they, they're huge up front. Uh, big backs, uh, they got a good football team yeah. too. So uh, the region's tough. You know, we went we went from one tough one to another one. So, you know, uh, but it is what it is. You know, you just got to get get better throughout the, the course of the season and uh, keep fighting and and just uh, you know let the chips fall where they may. Coach, from experience, from when I used to get shifted down into the south, way south, the one thing that you're going to find out and see is. Yeah, you've been playing all these teams you're always so used to. But now you're, these games that you're playing, these long trips, and playing people that you don't know is just like being in the playoffs. So when you get into the playoffs, a lot of times you're playing people you don't know. and You're driving right. to places you've never right. been. So your kids are going to be used to the going mm -hmm. on the road and going to places they've never been and having to perform. you got to perform sometimes when there ain't but 50 people in the stands and the other side don't have <laughs> many right. people in the stands. And you still got to perform. So this is really setting you up and preparing you for the playoffs. I hope so. You know, it was uh, definitely an interesting trip down to Dable. Um <laughs> Never been there before. Uh, you know, it was uh, it's a long ride. <laughs> you know, we was wondering, you know, if it's going to rain or not. You know, we kept yeah. our game on Friday, so we didn't know what the field conditions were going to be like or anything like that. The crowd, you know. So anyway, um, new experience for us, and, it's, and we we made a trip to Sylvania too. So mm -hmm. we've been on the road a good bit this season, and uh, you know, come playoff time, it'll do nothing but help us. Boy. Road warriors. Exactly. And, hey, it doesn't get any easier next week because non-region, you pick up B.B. Comer. Right. Uh, they win tonight over an undefeated Vincent team who came in 36-35. Uh, their team loaded with athletes and have one of the best running backs right. in any class in the state of Alabama. It'll definitely be a test for us. You know, we've seen them a little bit, and they've got athletes all over the field. The quarterback's a, a really good athlete. He can throw it and run it. Uh, of course, you know, everybody knows about the running back. He's also a very good defensive player, too. He's probably the, one of their better defensive players. Um, so they they can throw it, run it. They're a tough matchup, you know. Offensively, they can they can do it all. So, you know, it's going. We got our work cut out for us next week. All right, guys. Now we always ask questions, kind of you know, fun question. So I found out that Coach Miller and I have something a little bit in common last year at Media Days, and that is we're both big on vacations and traveling, yeah. taking the big yeah. family vacation uh -huh. and all that kind of stuff. So, Coach, of all the places you've been, you and I have been to a lot of places here over the years. Where's the, where's the best place you've been? What's the best vacation you've been on? Uh, St. Bart's. Wow. Out in the Caribbean. Okay. Uh, my wife and I, 10-year anniversary, uh -huh. went wow. to St. Bart's. That's by far the best vacation I've ever been Is there been. anywhere that's on the list that you're – that you haven't been to that you want to go to? Uh, on the list. Um, <laughs> After that last visit, you may be a while before you can afford it. You know, one. I tell you what, I, I would like to go actually go to St. Bart's again. again? But, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, I, I would I'd probably say St. Lucia. You know, I, I, I like the Caribbean, so St. Lucia would probably be a, a place that, that's on the list. If you need travel tips, call Jonathan Miller. You're going to St. Bart, St. Lucia. He will be the guy that will get you uh, all the information you need on that. Coach, uh, just a, a great win for your team tonight. You're right in the middle of this thing. You're right in the thick of things. And as we've seen in the past, teams that come out of this part of the state of Alabama, once they get in the playoffs, they do very well because there's nothing you haven't seen once right. you come out of this. So best of luck the rest of the way. Thank, Thank you. you for being with us. Thank Glad you. you enjoyed that Valley Dog, too. It was great. <laughs> I haven't had one in a long time. So I was going to say blasting the past for you. Yeah, I've had many over the years. So it was, That's what we wanted if you had many. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs>